A few months ago, I made a video showing off the settings I was using for my RX 5700 XT, specifically the Sapphire Nitro Plus version of this card. That video has done a lot better than I thought it was going to do, and I've also had a few requests to make an updated version of this video, since I've mentioned in comments that I'm using different settings now. Therefore, after a few months of saying I'm going to make it, I finally fully tested three different profiles for an undervolt for this card. You can choose which one you want to use if you want to use one from this video. And to start off, they are categorized as low, medium and high. The medium one's the one I'm going to be using the most. Essentially, the low one is low performance, but is also very low temperatures, so there's not much noise in the card. The medium one is a good balance between performance and noise, however, it does actually perform better than the stock settings. And the high one is a good bit better than the stock settings, but is also noisier than the medium setting, but is still quieter than the stock, if that makes any sense. Quickly as a refresher, to get into the Radeon software, you have to right click on your desktop and press Radeon software, or you can type for it in your search bar in the taskbar. You then need to click on the performance tab and then tuning. And if you're on automatic, click manual and just tick everything there. So as you have the ability to edit everything and you're basically there. There is core frequency, fan speed, VRAM tuning, and power limit. For every undervolt that I'm using in this video, the power limit is plus 10. Just as a disclaimer, all graphics cards are different, even if they are the exact same product. Obviously, there will be big differences between the highest end RX 5700 XT and the lowest end 5700 XT. But even though I have a Sapphire Nitro Plus, someone down the street from me who gets a Sapphire Nitro Plus may not perform the exact same as my card. Even if they've got the exact same build, the exact same computer, the parts and it may be a slightly different quality and therefore they'll perform slightly differently. So my settings were perfectly fine on my computer, but you may find my settings don't work on your computer, or you may find that you can tweak my settings and they may work better for your card and you might be able to get more performance out of your card than I can. We'll get started with the medium setting because this is the one I'm going to be using. This is actually an updated version of the one from last video. The one from last video being 2060 for the core frequency. 1100 for voltage and 1750 for the VRAM, which is untouched. I reran the benchmark for this in Heaven Benchmark and I got a score of 2808 with a temperature of 66 degrees Celsius, average FPS of 111.5 and junction temperature of 75 to 80. For the new undervolt, which is based on the old undervolt, I use a frequency of 2060 with a voltage of 1095 and a VRAM of 1770. Reason for this is I realized I could get a bit more in front of my card for the amount of voltage I was using, but I could also take down a notch slightly. So the score for this new undervolt is 2831 with the temperature being exactly the same at 66 degrees Celsius, average FPS being 0.9 higher, almost a full frame at 112.4 and junction temperature being virtually the same at 77 to 80, but realistically it doesn't matter, it's the exact same. This was a pretty good result, I'm pretty happy with it, and this is tuned basically as far as I can get it from my card. I can't really change it any higher, get any more performance out of it, I've I've hit the limit. I, I did use a higher version of this at a VRAM being 1810, but it did cause a few crashes, so I had to bump it down to 1770. But feel free to be a bit more ambitious if you have a better card. I did rerun the stock settings for this card as well because I thought I may as well not use the one from last video. The stock settings for this card are 2079 for the core frequency, 1199 for the voltage, and 1750 for the VRAM. The score that I got from Heaven Benchmark was 2818 with a temperature of 71 and the average FPS was 111.9 with a junction temperature of 88. To 90. So it's almost a full 10 degrees warmer in the junction temperature and it's about 4 or 5 degrees warmer in the normal GPU temperature as opposed to the medium undervolt. Moving on to the high undervolt, I base this around the stock settings of the card using the stock frequency of 2079 but I bumped the voltage down to 1130 and I bumped the VRAM up a bit to 1810. The score I got in Heaven Benchmark for this was 2869 with a temperature of 68 to 69 
and an average FPS of 113.9. The junction temperature was also 81 to 83, which is about 7 or 8 degrees cooler than the stock settings, which is pretty acceptable, I think. The score obviously is the highest one out of this bunch of undervolt settings, and I'm pretty happy with this. This is good for any high performance games, you know, any games you need to get a bit more oomph out of. However, I mean they play Destiny, and it's already maxed out in FPS on the medium undervolt, so I'm not too fussed. This next undervolt is actually based on a comment that someone left the other day. So in this comment, they they said they were using the settings 1950 for the core frequency and 1070 for their voltage. I could only assume they didn't touch VRAM, so that'd be 1750. I ran this benchmark and it came in with a score of 2718 with a temperature of 64 to 65, average FPS of 107.9 and junction of 75. This was okay and they aren't using a Sapphire and a Plus, they're using a Thick 3, so their card might not be quite as good as this card, so maybe those settings are as good as I can go. However, I decided to try and get better results out of this setting, and I've created the Low Undervolt, which is 1950, which is the same frequency as their comment. However, I took the voltage all the way down to 1000 millivolts, and I bumped the VRAM up to 1800. I'm sure I could do more with this, however I'm kind of leaving this open for interpretation because I'm saying this will probably work with any RX 5700 XT, so if the two other settings haven't worked and you don't want to mess around with it, this one should work. In terms of the score from the benchmark, this came in with 2742, which is between 20 and 30 points higher than the comments. It was a few degrees cooler at 62 to 63 degrees Celsius. The average FPS was 108.8 and the junction temp was 71 to 72. So there's the low, medium and high intervals. I have run a second benchmark on a different software called Superposition, made by the same people who make Heaven Benchmark, and I'll show them on screen. I'm not going to rattle through them. But an interesting thing was that both of the medium undervolts, being the old and the new one, the old one from the last video and the new one from this video, actually were higher than the stock undervolt. I thought that was pretty interesting. And then the performance from the comment undervolt and the low undervolt were actually pretty similar. There wasn't much in it. So I don't know if it's a different way that this benchmark works or renders things, but I thought that was quite interesting. I'm also going to have on screen two games that I tried testing out these stats on, being Destiny 2 and Jedi Fallen Order. This is because I play Destiny 2 most of the time and I basically only upload Destiny 2 to my channel, and the only high-end AAA game that I have is Jedi Fallen Order for PC. In the case of Destiny, however, no matter what undervolt settings I'm using, it's pretty much maxed out at 144 FPS anyway, therefore this is more just a temperature test as opposed to a frame rate test. So that's about it. The undervolt I will be using is the medium undervolt because that's the one that I'm most happy with the noise and performance. I don't think performance has really been compromised with that undervolt. In fact, well, it's better than the stock to be fair. But it's quite quiet. I'm pretty happy with it. I don't notice the noise when I've got my headphones on. And that can't really be said for the high undervolt because I do notice it. But if you're wanting to get a bit more power to your computer, or if your computer just isn't right beside your head whenever you're playing games, then you're probably okay using the high undervolt. Yet again, same as last video, I would just say if you get any feedback, if you're using different settings or if you have tried some settings and they don't work, just feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. I see pretty much every single comment that gets posted on my channel and I will most likely reply to it. Who knows, maybe I'll even make a third version of this video, but I highly doubt it. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, hopefully it's helped you and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you in the next one.